Check, check, check. Check. Check, check, check. Check. Check, check, check. Check. Check, check, check. Check. Yo. What's up? What the fuck is good? Check it. Dude, I'm on. A, I'm, I'm using my standing check, desk. Check, check. I'm standing up right now, dude. This shit keeps echoing back to me. Um, the, yourself? Yeah. Check I don't. Know. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I'll just right, Lino. I'm gay. What the fuck is good? Oh shit! Yeah, it's echoing to me as well. My standing desk. I'm standing. Are you watching YouTube? Is that why it's echoing? Um, yourself. Okay, so I've closed YouTube now. Okay. So. That should be over. That should be done. Yeah. Yeah, because there is like a ten, like a, like a thirty second delay or something between zoom and then youtube right then youtube like feeds audio back to the board and then i guess that feeds that back through zoom or something i don't know there's some kind of echo so i guess i just have to have youtube close yeah i think that's probably it check out my background dude that's cool what is that john wick five john wick yeah it's me it's it's two john wicks his twin brother john wick and his twin brother (laughs) reunite to get pussy for the first time yeah because John Wick hasn't gotten pussy. One of the downfalls of the movies, I would say. Yeah. Well, all right, then. I mean, I guess this is already streaming. It's, like, good to go. I mean. Okay. Um, I don't know where Adam is. He hasn't responded. Yeah. He hasn't responded to any text this morning. Um, Maybe, like, he's got his own shit. So you want to just get yeah. started with three? And then... Sure. All right. Let me go make a coffee then. Okay. I'll take a piss. Yeah. Piss, coffee. We'll reconvene here.
Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Apple Stop Receipts and Apple stream. Mamma mia, I cannot get on. Mama, my dick is off as fuck. Damn, I can't even see the chat, so I can't even talk to you little fuckers. Uh, just to catch up with me, I did a fucking home pump yesterday, but I think I fucking squatted too hard because my asshole, my bone, my tailbone hurts right now. I can't sit. I'm at my standing desk, actually. Check it out. It's going down. What if I lowered it all the way to my dick? <laughs> Is this the first time I've used it as a standing desk? Yes. Mama mia. There he is. Adam says he's, he's in there. Hell yeah. <laughs> you. Hey, you're. Hello? Can you hear what, me? What, what the fuck is good? What's up? Damn, dude, you're looking jacked, Adam. Shut up. You're looking good, man. You look like a fucking. Oh, no, I oh. thought you were being sarcastic. No, I mean, I am, but no. <laughs> I'm not exactly being sarcastic. It's sarcasm towards the outfit, not towards your body. I don't have anything clean right now. Your body's cute though, and Should don't I let anybody naked? tell you otherwise. I don't know okay, if I'm recording. Anyone else but you? I'm recording. I'm also recording. Uh, let me go. Yeah. Mama mia! Please suck on right, my I'm dick. I'm recording as well. There we go. All right. Yeah. All so right. I mean, this this has already been going on for like five minutes. That's probably not the best way to do it. You've been, been broadcasting good. yourself. Yeah, well, I didn't. There's no like, um, there's no like green room or whatever. Well, I mean, I guess there is in Zoom. You just wait and then don't hit live until yeah, you just don't room. hit live. Yeah, yeah, but I just want to make sure everything's set up. That's cool because you got to post the link to Patreon mm. prior, like, because it's not with Crowdcast, you can post an hour before and then you just wait to go live. I see. Uh -huh. With this, you have to like go live, then go into the event, edit it. I mean, there's probably a smarter way to do it. I just don't. Yeah, right. I don't know how, but let's, boys, let's ask Bobby. He does why, it all the time. Yeah. So you know, you got to see behind the scenes. Uh, uh, you know what it's what it's really like to be the boys outside of broadcast time. You know? <laughs> Dude, it's, it's like that's try, what they've been wanting. Try it now. What about now? I have to shit. Hold on, I have to shit. Kind of that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, let me go make a coffee. Okay, I'll piss. That they I'll like eat an that. Apple. Yeah, that's the kind of that's the that's the kind of crazy world that we're some kooky guys that we live in outside of uh, you know, doing the show. Yep. Before, dude, I'm standing up. I got a full range of motion when I do when I'm now. Is that because of your your tailbone issue? What's well, I just figured I'm not going to sit too much today. Let my ass cheeks get a rest. Where is the pain? The pain is right at the tail, at the bottom of the tailbone almost, but it hurts when I squat. And I did some really wide squats yesterday, so it hurts when I come back up. I think but it's I did not some. a muscle issue; it's a your, bone. Your SI joint. I mean, it could also be a muscle issue. There's a lot of things down. A lot there. of stuff, man. It could be a nerve issue. It could be a That's, nerve. I used to, I, I I would get to say I don't know if it's the same thing, but if I drive for like 12 hours. When I get out of the car, when I straighten up, it's like being like stabbed in my tailbone. Oof. Yeah, it might be something similar. Yeah. Because I mean, I'm sitting all. The, we're all sitting. Fuck it. I don't know about you guys. I'm sitting a ton. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm ton. I'm mostly pacing around. I'm at the workstation. <laughs> yeah. I'm at the battle station. I got my two monitors right now. I'm looking at them right now. I'm looking at you guys. Like I'm looking at fucking audition. Like a stockbroker. Exactly. 
Yeah. Exactly right. Um, I don't know if you guys know. I, somebody found my keys. What? Yeah. Are you serious? Who? Yeah. I don't know. I Where? Was, I was out like uh, working on the car this morning. How did they? How they know they were yours? You had nice. you had your name there. Nice background. It's Bob Dylan. I know what it is. It's Howard Stern. <laughs> Tell me, Bamba Booey, did you know I make shitty music also? Yeah, it's Howard Stern wearing his his uh, microphone. Bamba Booey, my music sucks, and I'm gay. Yeah, no, I'm so- not even gonna debate it. Some old guy just came by. He's like, "Yeah, uh, did you lose like keys for your car?" And he, how did he know they were yours, though? Well, I was gonna. I'm telling the story. Maybe, yeah, Adam. Maybe if you just give him one second, I'm sorry. He will answer. He was in the process of answering. Yeah, <laughs> that's the last apology you're getting all episode. <laughs> Damn, wow. you broke you broke your smoking vape on on screen rule, and you look like a dumb bitch. Yeah. I might have to take off I'm not, I'm not to drink coffee. It. How does Bane drink coffee? That's a great question. Because I'm sure you got to wake up to be Bane. You know? He has like a, mm-hmm. uh, what do you call it? He's got a um, You don't want to see me camel before pack. I've had my coffee. <laughs> before I've had my first cup. Mondays. <laughs> Mondays, am I right? <laughs> no, Mondays are more of a cunt than the office cunt. Then uh, right. the the stocks the what or whatever the people, fuck I'm against. Can you, can you call people cunts in an office? No, it depends what not. office. Yeah, yeah. The maybe Glenn Gary advice. Glenn Ross situation you can. Yeah, the the cops. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it would be funny to squad Glenn Gary Glenn Ross, but there's just like two women that work in clerical positions in that office. <laughs> just getting abused. <laughs> not even getting abused. Just all of that going on while a woman's like fucking calling her husband on the phone. Yeah. Doing they're probably tuning it out. They're professionals. Just doing dumb bitch stuff. Yes. Yeah. Their nails. Yeah. Filing. Complaining. Yeah. Being mad when they're racist towards the <laughs> Indians or whatever. Yes. Well, I got my keys. So what's going on with you? What's what's new guys in the well? World? Uh, I did a I did an apartment pump yesterday that I'm really proud. It was really felt good. Fat man and the little boy. What do you mean a, an apartment pump? The pump, dude. At the, at the home gym. People, people keep messaging me, uh, texting me also to go gallery view, not speaker view, Nick. Okay, how do I do that? It's on the top right corner. Perfect. Does it? Well, I did it now. Yeah. Okay. All right. Should be good. So we're working out the kinks. Does anyone message you that the audio is fucked up still or no? Uh, I can ask Joan. I don't, be- text I don't believe there's any audio issues. Wait, what? No, it was when I first, like, before I closed YouTube, there were people in the chat saying that the audio was. Oh, really? Yeah, kind of fucked up. I can't see the chat because we're just in Zoom. Right, I know. But if you open up YouTube, it'll Jonas like. Jonas says the audio is good. Okay. Because it was like, it was like fucking. Well, I, I don't know the word. Not well, cute. Jonah, I said he's cute. Yeah, tell which which one's Jonah again? Well, he'll see it on the stream. Shut the fuck up, Nick. <laughs> He's not even Jew. You, you know him look so his, well. Look at his mischievous little eyes under his fucking say, balaclava. I, I, I like that. I can tell that I know what your face looks like underneath it. <laughs> yeah, because we're friends. Of course, you know what my face looks like. Everyone no, knows. I know what face he you're means making. Your expressions. Yeah. Well, it's mostly in the eyes. See, that's the thing. Is like this runs counter to the theory that my eyes are dead. Oh, we it's it's true. Not, I see alive. what's going on here. Get, this yeah. whole thing is to prove you don't have dead eyes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's why I, I set up the whole quarantine. I faked the whole thing just to prove to everyone. That you have I, expressive eyes? Have expressive eyes. No, it's you're awesome. not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're overdoing it. Yeah. That's a way to have extra dead eyes to overdo it. To overdo it. You hey. can have. You can have expressive brows and Why do we eye even muscles? have bottom eyelids? The only expressions that bottom eyelids can relate are like, I'm going to burn all your stuff. You know, yeah. it's like, it's always just like insane. It's for it's insane. True, cause the top eyelid goes down all yeah. the way when you sleep. It's like how men have nipples and they don't need them. We also have bottom eyelids that we don't need. They're like, those, says, Thanks, those, those, those are female vestigial organs that only exist. Mm, Crazy, to, dumb bitch. To be a bitch. To be a bitch. You know, to like just uh, I don't know, man. I think maybe I'm gonna st- once quarantine's over, I'm gonna start getting my titty sucked. You're gonna get them licked on? I think so. By who? Adam? No, women. No. Adam, would you suck on you would. You would think it's very funny to do that. To if there was a poison in it, maybe. To suck on to kill stock. yourself. In a heroic suck, of course. Oh, 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 to get the poison out of me. 
Oh, kind yeah, of a to get, Romeo and Juliet sort of situation. Yeah, if he, if the, a snake bit his nipple, I would you gladly would suck, suck it to save my friend. Would you tickle my nuts and kiss my neck back and forth while you did it? Well, if the snake... The snake also, <laughs> yeah. The snake, the snake also had a little poison in my neck, and the only way to get the antibodies going is to stick... It's in the <laughs> testicles. So you'd mm. have to tickle my nuts and kiss my neck and then suck my tits at the same time. It's so cool how much we're learning about science now that there's a <laughs> corona. I yeah. fucking love science. I can't get enough. <clears throat> yeah, so... But I'm just kind of basically what I'm trying to do there, Nick, is to b- fight back against the idea that nipples are as vestigial as the bottom eyelids. Yeah. I see nipples as u- more useful than bottom eyelids. If I was trans, I would refer to my junk as my vestigial penis. <laughs> I was actually born with a vestigial penis. <laughs> Doesn't it feel good to get your dick so- jacked, even if you're a woman? Um, is it vestigial in that sense? I don't know. I mean, I don't know any of the rules. I don't know how the mechanics work. Who knows what those folks are doing in quarantine? You think they're not getting their dick sucked if they still have them? I think they I think are. They, I think they are. I remember if reading- they get a sex change, do they refer to it as a phantom penis? That's the cool. Phantom of the penis. Starring Billy. That Z- would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> and they have to wear a little mask on half of the dickhead. Yeah. Billy Billy Zane is the phantom penis. <laughs> He does have a nice smooth cock head. Did we talk about you've seen that movie, right? The the Phantom. I have not seen it, but I think we've talked about it. Yeah, it's like a PG thirteen movie. And I saw it when I was a kid. And like Treat Williams plays like the bad guy. And there's a scene where he What a cool name. Treat. Yeah. I would love that if my name. I know. I wish my name was Treat Halkis. Yeah. Come to penis treat. (laughs) Treat penis. Now that's the name. Yeah, it is. (laughs) <laughs> in this treatment facility. <laughs> Treat penis. <laughs> yes. Well, there's a scene in the movie where he fucking like he like has like a uh, uh, a microscope, I guess, that he like has some guy look through. But the microscope is rigged so like razor blades come out of the eye sockets. Oh damn! In the eye. That's fucking. And it up. was like brutal. Yeah, and it like stayed with me. And like even when I was like a fucking little kid, I'm like, I don't think this should be in a kid. I, this shouldn't be in a movie. <laughs> yeah, because they kind of. I remember the branding for that movie being like, it's kind of like adventurey, but it's not like yeah. an action movie. But there was a string of movies that the only point of them was to sell like cups at Seven Eleven. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like they just existed to like get people to get really into like the diabetes sodas when they were going wild in the late nineties. That the movie Phantom- in particular. Was, was it I like 1930s? The What's that? Yeah, they were all 30s movies. They were all in the 30s. Yeah. All this like superhero bullshit. The old Batmans too. The people like now, it's like they tried doing that and it didn't work. You know, they made right. like Dick Tracy, The Phantom, The Shadow. I like, was Dick Tracy for Halloween in kindergarten. You yeah. were Dick Sucky for yeah. Halloween last year. Come on, year. Stop, Rose. And you know what the costume was? Yeah. What? Do you know what the costume was? I was too young to be dick sucky. No, this you know, last year you were dick sucky. You know I didn't dress up. You know I was being mature. No, you were dick sucky. You dress up now. You're wearing yeah. your, your blouse. <laughs> it's not a blouse. You're wearing your, it's a nice blouse. You're borrowing why a tank that, top from your sister it? to do the podcast? Of yeah. course. It was the sports bra. You look, <laughs> you look absolutely ridiculous. Me? Yeah. Of the Same. three of us, you look the stupidest. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it is. It's like it's like an upscale wife beater. Yeah. It's hot here right now. You know we're gonna break a hundred for the first time in April. Ever. Really? Doesn't it's that over, kill? It's over that gonna... and shitty here again. Yeah, it sucks. It's out here. really hot here, and the air conditioning is not great in the upstairs right now. Mm. So you're toughing it out. I'm toughing it out, boys. I might go down to stop shape. So stop whatever. What? Wear no shirt. No shirt. You don't have the you don't have the guts. Is your penis out underneath? I'm fully nude. <laughs> I'm fully nude, but I'm wearing New Balance shoes. Oh, that's good. That's my podcasting like black, attire. Like a black guy in a porno. Like a black man in a porno about to get my turn to tear it up. New Balance. I'm wearing a do rag and New Balances, and I'm about to get that pussy. What if you thought he was like, I like the New Balance of these shoes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have you ever tried to fuck all nude with with shoes on? Never. I want to try it. Well, no, well, we get a second chance at life after this quarter. That's what I'm over. saying. I'm getting my titties sucked. I, I want to try wearing it. shoes. I, I want to try to have sex with basketball shoes on. <laughs> you know, like you've never fucked outside. Of course you've. I've, 
I'm yeah, not, but that's more like on. that's like I'm pants not, around the ankles kind of situation. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm talking all new, just sneakers through the zipper. I mean, you know, we've gotten close to that kind of territory before. I don't go uh-huh. through the zipper. I pull the pants down if I'm fucking like that. Yeah, well, that's because your pants are all like elastic. <laughs> no, it's you, not you gotta go zippers. over the fence. Yeah, you don't have any pants with zippers. I have plenty of pants with zippers. I have at least four pairs off the top of my head with zippers. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. Welcome to so, checkmate welcome to men's wide and gross. <laughs> they, I they, very briefly shopped at a men's plus size store. Thank you very much. Short and fat stores. No, they just they torture us with big and talls, and yeah. all the models are these six eight fucking hot guys, and yeah. everyone in there is fucking five seven and four hundred fifty pounds. <laughs> And it's fucking, it's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. There should be a short, fat model there. And I'm pissed off about it. Yeah. There's never a short, fat guy. It's always some fucking yeah. giant, awesome looking guy. Casual male taking L's. <laughs> yeah, casual <laughs> male. Your whole life has been a series of L's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, what, is ca- what is what is the, the, the euphemism that ca- casual is implying? I think it's because traditionally big and tall stores were only for suits mm. because oh, they so figured, it's like more for like you could have it on the golf course. They figured in your casual life, you just throw a fucking potato sack over your right. head. Okay. See, I always right. thought it was, yeah, it was like you have sort of a cavalier approach towards your health. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you casual really, about the really about really your, the nilly. plaque in your arteries. Right, exactly. <laughs> that was always the vibe I got from, from the name of those stores. Yeah, I will say when you're in there, it's all because I guess if you're super fucking fat and you don't have a wife, you're usually just buying sweatpants like from uh-huh. Costco or something. So yeah. every time I would go into that store, it was with it was when I had a a girlfriend who cared about me, in, like in college. It's a DeFonte that. shirt. That's right. That's a cool shirt. That's yeah. a cool shirt. I respect that shirt for sure. I love it's got that. Got a sandwich place. on it. I hope they open back up. I went by Speedy Romeo's and it was boarded up. No. Speedy Romeo's is gone. I just found out that my favorite uh, taco place in Jackson Heights is Penis Tacos. Back tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, Penis Tacos is closed. Common, I- common men's asshole tacos is closed. That's a fucking trap. You know the Latin American community is incredibly homophobic. They wouldn't name it like that. Yeah. Abrone tacos. Yeah. Marico tacos for gay guys. Who, yeah. Who Mariposa are, tacos. Who are also weak. Jewish maricon tacos. Yeah, it's Jewish a bunch of weakling tacos. <laughs> is that the place it closed? No, is no. That, it's it well. I was gonna say it's back. It's coming back, but uh, oh. uh-huh. well, that's hot. I'm, I'm happy to hear that about Maricon Penis Tacos. They well, I'm not gonna go there with you. I guess I was planning on a boys' trip. All of us going to Jackson Heights. Yeah, and having some nice beady uh, tacos. They would respect Tijuana style. They wouldn't serve us because we're not Maricones. They would serve us. They would serve you. It's not an expressly homosexual establishment. <laughs> that would be cool if there was if it was like the opposite of like the people in power. Like if only gay guys could eat here or only yeah. Chinese guys could eat here. Nice. An inversion, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That would show us. What if, what if only Elizabeth Warren was allowed to eat with it? <laughs> you she see that fucking so people being like or that tweet that was like 2020 it was an apology to elizabeth Warren. that was so fucking funny yeah what do you mean you that. fucking idiot You're right you know who the the essential worker should be apologizing to elizabeth warren, elizabeth warren. i'm yeah. sorry yeah the the fucking pork packers that have to go keep dying to go to work yeah we're so sorry we failed you elizabeth warren <laughs> i love this chain mail dude i really i wish i knew how to pronounce all my s's as f's like what no. what do you like mean stavros yeah, like Favros, Favro, Favro, Favro. Like in the script, the way it mm-hmm. looks. Oh, Favro, 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 Fat Tavros, Tavros. Honestly, Fat, fat Tavros, Fat is fat, and Tavro in Greek means bull. Yeah. I could be sta- I could be the fat bull, dude. That's not a bad name. Fatavros. Tavros means bull. Yeah. Fatavros. Bull come. What's bull come? Uh. Davros, I guess hisi. The only word I know for come is hisi, which literally means 
spill, your spill. Mm -hmm. So they call it your spillage, basically. Interesting. But there's probably a technical term for a semen that I don't know. Yeah. Because I only know it from the streets. The streets of uh, Athens? Yes. I only, I learned, I didn't learn Greek in a, you know, in a formal, in a formal setting. So yeah. you speak like Ebonics. I speak Ebon the Greek version. Do you of speak Ebonics? like a you speak like a kind of like a wigger kind of. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yep, Jamie Kennedy style. <laughs> Malibu's most wanted. Yeah. I so, wonder what semen means in Greek. Actually, Blasio's centering his sights on the Hasids. Did you see that tweet? Yeah, Bob, Bob, you're gone. That is pretty funny. No, it was not the Hasids. It was all Jews. It was just any Jew whatsoever. <laughs> I wish going I back to his funny. going back to his German roots. What's his real name? Herman Miller. Willem. <laughs> yeah. Willem. Yeah. What's his name? Willem something. I mean, De Blasio. It might be like the biggest fucking idiot. <laughs> I mean, at, like, for all the shit Trump gets for how he's handling the coronavirus, it's like, we know with Donald Trump, but, like, the de, de Blasio is, like, just a fucking moron. Yeah. I mean, what has he done wrong? I haven't really paid attention. I mean, well, he was pretty late on shutting the city down. Late on shit. He's hysterical. Yeah. He never, like, talks about things in terms of, He kept of, the like, schools open for a while. There being any kind of plan, it's always just like, guys, this shit sucks. <laughs> Have you seen this? This is fucking crazy. That's anyway, what we need right now. The message to the kike community, you know, and it's like, what are you, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was a pretty funny yeah. tweet. Yeah. Yeah. It but, was uh, funny. And it was brave because we all know. It was brave, especially in New York City, where there's what, like two million. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, it's all, like, but, but no. Wait, why it's why it's stupid is because it's like they're not going to enforce that. You right. know that they're, there's not going to be mass arrests of uh, Hasidic people. It just no. There's just going to be they're going to send a cop in with sirens. It's, it's going to be the same exact thing it already what was. they've always been doing. Yeah. So the only thing you stand to gain by tweeting that out is having people call you anti-Semitic. Right. Yeah. It was, from a PR perspective, a very dumb tweet. It's fucking stupid. It would. So stupid. It would be wild if he just started a little, a little mini Holocaust out of the blue. But right. it, it would be a wild move. I will admit that. I, I think literally, I guess we're there. Everyone's upstate right now. So go ahead. If he gets the gats out, dude. If De Blasio gets the gats out, mm -hmm. that'll be something. That'll be something yeah. else, boy. I'll tell you what. Should De Blasio start? exterminating Jews. <laughs> I would be like, damn, that's fucked up, Bill. Don't do him like that. That would What's be kind name? of my perspective. His name is like Kaiser Wilhelm. II Kaiser Soze. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's something German. Let me look at it. It's Willem, I think. But yeah, we've looked this up probably every other episode. Well, it's so funny the because years. the people that point out his name like the most are the same guys that did the Barack Hussein Obama thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Point out that he's, like, not... Muslim. That he's even less white than you thought he was. But when you do it with de Blasio, it just makes him sound like the guys that are like, oh, Bill de Blasio? You mean Hank Berman? <laughs> yeah. Like, like, that sounds like your name. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, sounds like you'd like that guy, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're pissed he changed it up, dude. Honestly, yeah. that's I respect that about him. I yeah. think that's the coolest thing about him is that he changed his name to some Dago shit. I agree. I yeah. agree wholeheartedly. I mean, you should have given himself a black name. That would have been, that awesome. been so cool. Yeah. Yeah. My name's Tyrell Hussein <laughs> the Chocolate. And I'm the mayor of New York. But do it after he. <laughs> Tyrell Hussein the Chocolate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Already, he's been elected, and then he like does the paperwork to change his name to Tyrell Hussein the Chocolate. <laughs> God damn, that would be incredible. And the Chocolate is a great name. Just see that name blasting out tweets like the Jews better wise up. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense to me, actually. Right. I feel like a guy named Tyrell the Chocolate is definitely not too pleased about what the Jews yeah. have done to his neighborhood recently. It is funny though to watch like the conservative Jews react to that tweet who already call everything anti-Semitism anyway. Yeah, that's that's been they're, they're like the, the, you know the guys the guys who like take a picture of like the price of peanut M and M's have raised like, thirty five <laughs> cents on the subway. Yes, and, like not since the night of Crystal Knock <laughs> has an injustice <laughs> this grave been levied against the Jewish community. And you're like, what are you talking about? Just like that. 
the the Jews who got a suit for their bar mitzvah and never stopped wearing it. Those <laughs> just they just keep fucking <laughs> curling into it. <laughs> right. And then them reacting to this thing is so funny. One of them was tweeting like a, a side by side of like de Blasio's anti Jewish tweet, but then also just another tweet from him that just says ha- like it's like basically just says happy Ramadan. Yeah. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah. It's just like you're just proving that you hate Muslims. <laughs> Why bring that in? This yeah, is the most that, slam dunk, actually anti-Semitic thing oh, a public right. official has ever done. Yeah, he's like, he said something anti-Semitic, but also he's being nice to Muslims, the garbage religion. <laughs> they uh, wipe their asses with their hands. With their hands. Fuck yeah, dude. All those guys are named Ari. Every single one of that type of Jewish guy is named Ari something. Not my Ari. They're all from TNA. Not my sweet boy. Yeah, Ari, your Ari is cool. Mm-hmm. Not my sweet boy. Which one's Ari again? The tall one? <laughs> <laughs> You've known all of these people for years, Nick. Have I? I don't know anybody anymore. Mm-hmm. He's true. transcended knowing anyone. You know, it's funny. I kind of thought that, like, being funny was dependent on not being around people. And, like, you know, you just become more your ability to socialize breaks further. And it makes you better at jokes. Right. But now it might be that it, you do require interacting with other people. Oh, okay. Because All I, right. like I'm forgetting the English language. <laughs> oh, I've become so dumb, dude. I'm a, yeah, I'm at the point now where I can like barely communicate. Like I just won't yeah. speak to anyone for three days. And my mom will call me and be like, how's it been? I'll be like, me have uh, the breakfast. <laughs> oh, wait, outside you go in, there's clouds there. What? <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I know, dude. Yeah. I know, bro. I've been forgetting really easy words. Like what? I don't know. I Uncle forget. And and uh, the, all the safe words. What are the... What? He's forgotten the safe, like, safe words while he's getting yeah. fucked in the ass. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Uncle right. Uncle. Yes. You know, mm-hmm. Seth B or whatever. Right. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, is there is there a universal l- n- number of safe words that I don't know about? I don't know. I really only know uncle. Oh, that's uncle. That's the sure. classic. That's yeah. the classic. Mm-hmm. Say uncle. But is that about getting fucked in the ass, or is that about getting being put in a full Nelson? Um, I don't know. If people say uncle when they're getting fucked in the ass. Yeah. Why does that satisfy a bully who's giving you a headlock? <laughs> the word uncle. Why is that? I made yeah. you say the name of your mother's brother. Well, because mm-hmm. bullies are actually bullied themselves, you know. It's true. So true. Bullies being molested by his uncle at home. That's true. right. And when so we say I'm uncle, the pain, now I'm the uncle. It triggers P- a PTSD response where he starts yeah. crying. Mm-hmm. He's like, "I'm sorry." Uh-huh. And then he pulls his ass out, and you have to fuck him in the ass, to, and that's how you beat a bully. What's that shitty Sean Connery movie where he can talk to dragons, or the, is it Dragon Heart? I don't know. I don't know. I, I think that might be the key to sitting down and watching things. I have to watch things that are bad and then get mad at them. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I might live stream Twister later. No, oh, <laughs> Twister sucks. I might put Twister <laughs> on and, and just do. Just Twister is fucking go brutal. Through, go through the it's whole. It's an insane plot too. Yeah, pack my pipe up, make a little coffee, put Twister on, and yes, just sir. and go to work. Ain't nothing wrong with that, Poppy. Yeah. Twister. <laughs> Who's in that shit? Bill Pullman? Paxton. Uh, yeah, Bill Paxton. It's Who's Bill Pullman? Bill Pullman's the one president. of the Bill P's. Independence Day. Mm. Yeah, the president. Hold on a second. That's a different guy? Yeah. Paxton and Pullman, yeah. No there's, also, there's also Will Paxton. I don't know him. Yeah, you do. He's another guy. Hold on. Wow, that's wild that that's not the same guy, Bill Paxton and Bill Pullman. Are you fucking kidding me? Who is Bill Paxton? I know Bill Pullman. He was in uh Yeah, he was just that uh, show with the Mormons, Big Love. I've never heard of that. Is that show on HBO? No thanks. Is that Bill Paxton? I think it was. Hmm. Damn, R.I.P. though. Even though I didn't know who the fuck he was. Yeah, there's also a guy named Will Patton who's one of those guys. <laughs> Damn, I honestly thought so. Paxton is not, isn't it? Not Pullman. Yeah. Well, look up Will Patton. Will Patton. Yeah, because he's the other Bill Pullman. There's Will Patton, Bill Pullman, and Bill Paxton. 
Oh, and there's shit. also a guy Skarsgård and a guy Sarsgård. Yeah, this guy is not as as much of this those guys as the other two guys though. Who well, Will Patton. Who- Will Patton is more Bill Paxton than w- Bill Pullman is Bill Paxton. I guess I don't know who Bill Paxton is. That's kind of my thing. You do know who Bill Paxton no, is. No, I know, but I always, in my head, every time I've ever thought of Bill Paxton, it's always been Bill Pullman. But Bill Pullman isn't in that many movies. I mean, he's like, Independence Day is his big thing. And who is Bill Paxton in? You tell oh, me a list of things Bill Paxton is in, and I'll tell you if I thought Bill Pullman was in them or not. Um, see, Beethoven three. <laughs> yes, they should bring the Beethoven movie. Oh, but they should bring yeah. all the dog movies back. There's mm-hmm. Beethoven. There was fucking it's um, prime time for dog movies. Obviously, the that. Air Buds. Uh, <laughs> there's the Shaggy Dog. Where is it? Tim Tim the Toolman Taylor's a, a dog, and he has to watch his wife <laughs> get fucked. Uh, God damn! I wish I could just. I I need cocaine. I can't do. I can't. I can't. I'm trying, and it's just like I cannot make my fucking brain work. I can't. I. It's just silence. It's just absolute silence in my fucking head. Yeah. Dude, fucking quarantine sucks. I know, bro. I can't do. It. There was like maybe maybe one or two times where there was some novelty to it, so I could extract something. But talking to a fucking computer sucks. Yeah. Bullshit. I know. I don't even like hanging out with people, but I need to hang out with people. <laughs> it's fucking. It's this is shit. Nick needs to be in a room with Not other people you. looking at his phone. Not with you. I don't <laughs> look at my phone. First of all, motherfucker, you're what? a phone looker at her. No, you're, you're a, a phone, phone looker at her, Nick. You're Come on, phone. don't no, do this. Nick, no, no, no. But in you are. social circumstance, if I'm hanging out with you guys. Adam, you look at your phone too. Don't pretend like you're not a phone looker at her. If there's enough of a familiarity, I feel free enough to look at my phone. Right, right, right. But if I'm in like a social setting, like a like a, like a gathering. Sure, Nick is more phone. likely to do that. But you, I would say at the end of the day, it sort of evens out because you, although sometimes Nick, you just won't look. You just straight up will not talk for forty minute stretches mm-hmm. during the show or like no 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 no, no, no. In, a, in a like oh, a party in life or, yeah, yeah. In life yeah no if I'm yeah of course I'm gonna be looking at my phone yeah <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do at a party I don't drink well you know even just a chill like, oh, you know, back, just a uh, kickback uh, all right well I guess I'll look at my phone then. Let me, know, let me know if the bag comes out. <laughs> and maybe we can talk about being social. I got to look at Bill Paxton's IMDb real fast. Yeah, I'm going to take a quick look at the Paxton brothers, see what's more. <laughs> bottom of this, who's, uh, who is Kip Pardue? <laughs> We're going to go ahead and take a look at all the Kip Pardue movies while you tell me about your sister has breast cancer. And I'm like, huh? Oh, yeah. No, that's wild, dude. <laughs> damn. That's uh, damn. Did you that's ever see South of Pico? Yeah, and then she was in chemo for like six weeks and it didn't work. Is South of Pico any good? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Sister, you're yeah. Yeah, it's it's not bad. Yeah, but... Hendrix is in that. It's crazy we never saw her breasts. <laughs> Speaking of breast cancer, by the way. <laughs> Speaking of, I you mean, see your breast somewhere, don't you? No, never. On the internet? Nope. Come on, I feel like I've jacked off to pictures I thought were her breasts. Her breasts have never been seen. I mean, it should there, that that should be a section on her Wikipedia page. It's just yeah. a, many. Uh, Christina Hendricks is an actress, and many have wondered, have we ever seen her breasts? Oh, maybe there was. Maybe I've jacked off to very convincing photoshops. Yeah, you have. That's a shame. You've been tricked. I've been duped. Like <laughs> and, the, and the photoshops are most likely done by men, so you're ma- jacking off to another man's art. Fuck, dude. Which makes you... Gay. Gay. Yeah. Damn it. it makes are you, you serious? Mm-hmm. You, who is this lady? There's a redhead with big tits <laughs> that I'm looking at right now. You have a dual monitor set up. <laughs> Dude. Really do, well, and one of them is looking at photoshops yeah. of Christina Hendricks tits yeah. out. Get work done. <laughs> <laughs> Anything in your life involves even one a one monitor setup. 
<laughs> Damn, dude, I'm pissed. I cannot believe I jacked off to somebody else's tits. Why not? Because I wanted to jack off. To it makes hers. him dishonorable. It makes yeah. me dishonorable. That was a not earned jack. Your hair I didn't is, earn that nut. It looks like a newborn baby's hair. You look like a Korean infant. <laughs> Honestly, I say let it grow. See, see, Dude, it might it might fill out. I think. I'm growing. It's not grow filling out, but I'm growing it out. Yeah. I'm getting the bald ponytail. That's sealed. That's in the put that on the books. Yeah. I just hope it grows in fast. Do you guys know a way to get hair to grow fast? Not fuller, but faster? Uh, no. No. Because I want to come out of this with a ponytail, but I feel like I'm... Unfor- I can grab it, which is nice. Yeah. I mean, I guess it'll probably... This will go on forever, so you it'll happen, you know? Yeah, that's true. You got to you, you flatten the curve of how long it takes to, for your hair to grow out. I want to look like Danny DeVito in Twins. Yeah. That's a good look. That's dude. That's my look when I when all this is said and done. I'm trying to get like a fiefdom haircut, you know? Yeah, dude. And, comb. and a bowl cut. Yeah, and then yeah. <laughs> that's a good look too. Like so, shaped, like, like yeah. Absolute fucking retard. Yeah, absolutely. I had that haircut once. Yeah. Yeah, as a kid. Yeah. You still you kind of do now. My job is to gather the stones and put the stones. You mean you had a proper bowl cut, Adam? Like combed out? Yeah, I went to uh, my mom's. Went to a salon. Hell and she yeah. got me a haircut, and they let like the Cuban shampoo boy, like try out. <laughs> they let him try out haircutting, Hell and yeah. I got, he gave me a bowl cut. And he said uh, to my to my mother, he said, "All the boys on the playground have this haircut." <laughs> All the boys. That was his. Uh, I got a bowl cut my damn self, and it was from my mom's friend who we these old, these old Greek people who we later found out were swingers. Mm-hmm. They were just this lady would cut yeah. hair in her house, and then her and her husband with an earring in the nineties. You just had like businessman come all over your hair. <laughs> yeah, dude. It has she used holes. those fucking scissors to clip fucking pubes. Wife did you ever, did either of you ever have this haircut? The Ricky Martin. Of course. That was my yeah. fucking go-to look. Bro. I love that yeah. Dan Soder still gets that haircut. Yeah. <laughs> Soder still does. <laughs> the fifth grade haircut. Soder's whole shit is like fucking 1998, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like long sleeve t-shirts. The flip. Yes. You know, he hair. really is. He's wearing Queens of the Stone Age t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Abercrombie jeans. <laughs> yeah, dude. He looks. He really is like a giant kid. Yeah, and he's also good in the way a child is. You know what I mean? Like he's, he's a moral, nice boy. Yeah, good guy. He's a good. He hasn't boy. been corrupted by adulthood. Yeah, it's true. <clears throat> Shout out to Dan. Shouts out to Big Sodes. What is so? What's going on? You guys got any new like uh, uh, skills? Fuck skills? no, dude. I'm trying to learn how to. I'm not learn how to paint, but just paint every day. But uh, that's really talk- only so I can not hang out with my family. Talk to us about that for a little bit. Maybe tell. tell Do you want to see what I was working on this morning before tell, the show? Tell, tell the whole world out there exactly what, you know, what needs to be done to progress at that. Well, I think learning lighting. We got to start the getting, next thing. Start getting guests on the show. We got to have people. I got to just throw the worst questions possible. I'm to, down. Yeah. So Edward Snowden, you did something or whatever. So what's up with that, man? Do you get pussy in that little jail? Did you get cell pussy in? off of uh, the leak? Do you ever Ru- get pussy off that leak, Ed? Russia's got to be crazy. What kind of pussy Probably they got over there in Russia? <laughs> yeah, it's got to be fucking crazy over so there. So when's the last time you busted a nut, Ed? <laughs> Can we get Snowden on for real? How hard would that be? What you do? Pretty you- easy, probably. You hack stuff? Is that your job? Is you're like a hacker or something? Do you have bang bros? Do you hack into bang bros in Russia? So you don't have to pay. You ever see Short Circuit 2? Do you think that movie's going to come real? <laughs> Do you think the science was uh, good on that movie? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think that we're, what we're headed towards is something like the film Short Circuit 2? Is that like what we could? Expect? Where do they got my man? Is he just in a house in Russia, or is he in like? I think he's in an embassy. Yeah, I don't know. They, they like the the media go. Oh, no, that's that's Assange. Maybe. Where they're like Google wants to put microchips in everyone's brain, and then Edward Snowden goes, "I think that's bad," and then it's like, "Well, of course he does." You know, it's like everybody acknowledges is that's bad, right? But he's just, they, they'll just go talk to Edward Snowden anytime. There's like 
another developer. What did he leak initially? That the NI- NSA is like fucking spying program. Oh, yeah. okay. So he's chill. He's a chill bloke. Yeah, he is. He's a good bloke. Mm-hmm. And is he, he's yeah. got a little apartment. Do you think he's got a PlayStation? Yeah. How does he, he pass the time? Roommates with Anders Bravik. <laughs> he's in Norwegian jail. They put all the guys from 2011 in the same. Oh, damn. I thought you meant Anders from Workaholics. Yeah. yeah. That's I the- thought he, they were in the Workaholics house. Yeah. yeah. He went by Durs. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is Anders Brevik? <laughs> He's the guy that we talk about him all the time on the show. He shot all those Muslim kids. Oh, right. <laughs> right, right, right. That guy's not chill. That guy's not a chill. He's, He's not, not as not cool as, as Durs. Chill as the Give me Durs. Like, I'm taking Durs over Durs. Anders Brevik, dude. 100% of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Them. And what did the other guy, what did Assange do? Uh, Assange did WikiLeaks, the, um, the, the, that drone bombing video. Mm-hmm. And he's getting pussy from Pamela Anderson somehow. Uh, that's what they say. That's a weird, that's weird. I was not expecting that one, I'll be honest. Damn, driving movie theaters are making a comeback. Should we go? That would be fun. I th- well, I mean, they're just forgetting uh, for fingering. Yeah, it would just be nice to leave your house, bro. Yeah, we could shout to each other from our cars. Is that be like, you- hi, Nick? You'd We're be like, probably- hey, stop. Probably never gonna hang out again unless they open a socially distanced Chinese buffet. <laughs> I'm there in line like it's fucking Phantom of the Menace, dude. The megaphone from the 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 root beer float station. <laughs> it's good to see you again. Phantom of the Menace. <laughs> Is that what you said? The Phantom of the Menace. Yeah, yeah, I did. I meant Phantom. <laughs> Episode one. <laughs> Phantom of the Menace. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to see that shit like it's Phantom of the Menace, dude. <laughs> that's that's what Tyrell the Chocolate would call Phantom Menace for sure. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> that guy is cool. Oh, fuck. I would go to a drive-in movie theater. Yeah. Is that shit safe? What do you You're mean? In your car. Yeah. Fuck yeah. And then could somebody give me top? I mean, when, can, when do we get testing so we know who has it and who can suck your dick again? Well, they had that those antibody tests, and it proved that most people already have it. But then they're like, "Oh, it, that's all bad science." So wait, who was doing that test? How do you get that test? Is it in L.A. County? There was one in L.A. County. There was at Stanford one. There's just like there was one in New York too. I think there was a, like last week. I just I just stopped reading the news because it's like I can't with this fucking thing anymore, and. uh I Dude, I'm like those protesters. I, America's open for business, if you ask me. Vegas Adam is kind of like that. Up and down the Capitol steps, holding his asshole open. <laughs> He's open for business. I'm open for business, gentlemen. <laughs> Honestly, if you made a hazmat suit and the dick part is made out of condom material, you could fuck for it like that. The dick part? Yeah, sure. So why are we getting those going? Can you get COVID from fucking? I don't think so. So you're saying you don't even need to wear a condom. The rest of you just has to be. You just need to airlock your dick out. As long as you wear a mask, kind of like a, maybe even a scary mask or a Venetian mask. Right, right. Yeah. like As like long as lip- you're wearing a cloak and what about some this, sort of mask the, with a giant bird beak. What about the little red riding hood wolf where it's the wolf, but it's the grandma? She's wearing glasses. Uh-huh. You remember that mask? That was a standard scary mask. That was really scary. <laughs> I couldn't even look at that. You could be wearing that and having sex. Um. Yeah, we could. Nick, you're upset. Yeah, I'm just trying. I can't. I can't fucking think. I can't think. Yeah. Yeah, because there's nothing. There's no change in life. I think that that's the problem. The problem is there's nothing. Yeah, there's changing. nothing. You can either go read fucking bad news. Or do nothing. I mean, it would be okay if I just could like shut off and be fucking comatose, but there's like zero fucking inputs. There's nothing, there's yep. like nothing to fucking talk about. There's really, there's like not like none of the distractions work. They're all bullshit. I don't want to watch any more fucking movies. You said I, you haven't watched a single movie, bro. 
I've you watched gotta, Hero like 15 times in a row. I try Hero? to. I watch maybe 10 minutes of a fucking movie and I just can't. I just put turn it off. Yeah. Make another fucking coffee. Pace around my apartment. I don't know what the fuck to do. Hmm. You know, I mean, it's like I I, I don't. I, yeah, I like, you do handstand push-ups. That's pretty good for you. Sure. I just like I can't. I, I need like something else has to fucking happen. You know what I mean? It's Absolutely. just bullshit over and over again. Dude, that's know. what I'm saying. We got to open carry. We got to stand so outside de Blasio's office. At a certain point, it becomes a matter of creative necessity for everyone to become COVID denialists. I mean, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. It's like, what the fuck? You can't do your job as somebody that has to fill an hour of time unless you're saying this thing's bullshit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, you could just watch Twister. We could talk about who's Bill Paxton. Uh, yeah, that's great. You that's know? Awesome. Right. Yeah. Just fucking not not only super interesting, but definitely not extremely well tread territory. <laughs> no one has ever it's like a great that maybe Bill Paxton and Bill Pullman might be the same guy. I wonder what similarities they have, other than they're both named Bill and they're fucking like bisyllabic last names that start with P. I mean yeah. it's both actors too. Yeah. yeah. White guys. Brown hair. They're both white guys. Yeah, I just need something else to happen. And I like I lost my keys, but then I found them. And that's the most exciting thing that's happened this month. Yeah. You know, we need like a war or something. We don't need a war. I that'd be that shake things up. I to do a war and then you'd have something else to fucking talk. About. I mean, they would do a war anyways. Can't yeah. stop. This shit sucks. This yeah, shit dude. sucks. I hate this. I'm with you. I hate you could it, bro. you could start cooking, but oh, you're you're not eating. That's the other problem. I do cook. No, I'm tired. I'm furious. I'm like just fight. Like if I try to think about anything, it's just oh right. I'm fucking furious. I'm angry. This shit sucks. I don't know what to do. And it's like mm. okay, well, I guess I can just turn my brain back off. Welcome, welcome to the team. No brain thinking. I mean, that would be fine if we didn't have like response, like a responsibility to like an audience. Just say something. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Anything. I mean, like when it goes, it gets to the point of like, okay, well, if I can just fill an hour and it's like, but now I can't even do that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even fill an hour with bullshit conversation. Damn. Yeah. Um, what about the UFOs? Can... They think that month they got UFOs, bro. Yeah, that's it. The, the genesis of every conspiracy theory <laughs> is just fucking like, like like a like a capital interest in needing to maintain some kind of audience. No, they really did. So they oh, they just fucking... released UFOs. Alex got like footage. Did they? Yeah, I think so. Like Alex Jones would just be like a normal guy if like he didn't get a job saying things. You know what I mean? Oh, because he has to generate some time. Yeah, Gener- yeah he's got to fill the hour. He's like, oh, I guess I'll talk about uh fucking lizard globals well what about other people that don't talk about shit like that you know you got howard stern he talks about pussies and retards and that kind of stuff you got yeah t- my girl terry gross she interviews people what's with this fucking ufo thing let's go ahead what did- <laughs> pentagon officially releases ufo videos i yep. wonder why they're trying to distract us get us off the scent yeah um oh damn i went back to my christina hendrix shit ufo Pentagon, yep mm-hmm. i tell you one thing that did kind of spook me did you see that story about like the new york times are like uh that one of the top doctors in new york killed themselves because of yeah the patients and it's like did does that happen i mean does that like that seems weird to me i know she was like a coronavirus doctor and she so feels like it's out of the the fucking Clinton playbook, you know what I'm saying? Some some Epstein style I, shit. I'm at the point now where I don't think that anyone has ever committed suicide. Out. <laughs> I think David Carradine was murdered. I think Robin Williams. Was no, murdered. he was jacking off. Uh, he was murdered from jacking off. That's it. Those are the only things that happened. Either people were masturbating or they were killed by the Clinton. Mm-hmm. <laughs> only two options the whole concept of suicide is just it's mostly an abstraction top er doctor who treated virus patients dies by suicide 
according to the New York Times.com. Mm-hmm. Top emergency room doctor, Manhattan police, and a Manhattan hospital that treated many coronavirus patients <laughs> died by suicide Sunday. The father and the police said. Yeah. Damn. Sounds like a sort of a Vince Foster situation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she died by suicide. Yeah. One to the back of the head. Yeah, she was she found shot, in her garage with uh, one gunshot through the back of her head. Shot herself four times in the back of the head after deleting her video that said uh, coronavirus is like, I'm not seeing any patients. Or... <laughs> oh, uh, fuck. But didn't she, she got coronavirus and then recovered and then went back to work. Dr. Mm-hmm. Breen's father um, <clears throat> said or is she, it, had is that someone dev- else? she had described devastating scenes of the toll the coronavirus took on patients. Her father, who I guess would must be in on it, mm-hmm. says that what she saw caused her to kill herself. But what did she see? The truth. The truth. Maybe yeah. she gave some insight into these UFO videos. Doctor Breen did not have a history of mental illness. Her father said, but he said that when he last spoke with her, she seemed detached, and he could tell something was wrong. Mm-hmm. She had described to him an onslaught of patients who were dying before they could even taken be taken out of ambulances. She was truly in the trenches, he said. He added, make sure she's praised as a hero because she was. She's a casualty just as much as anyone else who has died. Wow. I'd like to see his bank account statements, if you know what I'm saying. Well, I don't um, understand that statement. Let me, let's me let make sure she counts as a hero just like everyone else who died, which is like, well, yeah, she's a hero. She was a doctor. But it's like the people who are dying of corona aren't heroes. <laughs> yeah, they are. They're heroes in the war against the virus. Why yeah. and that's that's the kind of end. it's like okay well why are they framing it like that she's more of a hero than them easy easy yeah nobody Not even close no uh, yeah who's like ah this bitch taking the easy way out <laughs> a lot of people are yeah like that. civilian casualties in the war aren't heroes they're it uh, sucks but you friends. know sorry none of those Iraqi children get medals you know that's, what I'm saying yeah, not standing up for your French self. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's true. You should have joined La Resistance mm-hmm. and died like a hero's death. Gone to mm-hmm. Valhalla. Les Miserables. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. That's Les right. Les Miserables. Damn, this is fucked, dude. What? Did this, did this lady got herself like this? What is Les Miserables? It's just about French people. That's... The Miserables. Huh. That's dirty. what it means. The miserables. Oh, that's what it means? Yeah, the miserables. Damn. Yeah, I, they're miserables. New French. It's uh it's a it's something it's it's a musical named after Adam's dick and balls. Mm-hmm. That, the miserables. That would make sense these <laughs> days. Uh they it's true. It's about the French Revolution. Yep. There's bitches giving up pussy for bread. There's uh-huh. guys going to jail and shit for get yeah. for bread. It's mostly about bread. It's a guy it's named a, Javert. Yeah, a John John Valjean. Um there's a Co- Cosette. Cosette. Is she the one giving pussy for bread? I think that's I think so. A lot of people were giving up pussy back then, which is fucked. It's fucked that you have to give up pussy for basic needs. Mm-hmm. You know? Do you think there's land then you saw that, that story where like landlords are trying to get people to give up pussy now? Yeah, I did. That's when we're go- when we're in trouble is when we go back to a pussy based economy. Why? That's what you want. That's what I want, but society is in trouble. Also, I don't want that. I don't want it to be an economy. I don't want it to be an exchange. I want I mean, it to be what makes you think that women are sleeping with you be huh? <laughs> any other reason other than like some kind of social exchange. Well, that's everyone that's what everyone gets. That's I... how everyone fucks. I mean, I don't want it to be an economic exchange. I mean, it is an economic exchange. Well, it's not for money. It's not. I mean, per that's se- my wheelhouse. But it's because yeah. you have the money is the reason that women are fucking you. As long as I, as long as it ain't coming out of my pocket, I'm not looking too deep, brother. I'm on the surface waters, having a nice time, doing this float move. Right. Where you know where people float on their back. I'm on a lazy pussy river. I'm not trying to go underneath the surface. Mm-hmm. Check what's You're on. Not the trying day. to see all this cum and blood. <laughs> Absolutely not. The hypodermic needles. No, thank you, brother. Talk about lies of the system. One of the greatest systemic lies of all time is that if you piss in a pool, it'll turn blue. <laughs> it really is a great line. I mean, I was so scared. The times I've not pissed, and the times they're like, "Oh yeah, it'll turn red." 
Red, yep. And then you go ahead and you piss or whatever, and it's fine. And you're like, these motherfuckers. How, I could have been pissing this whole time. This whole system is based on fear and lies. That's you, right. You had a different method of, of mm-hmm. one that was based on honesty that may be even more draconian. It wouldn't feel like such a, a spiritual violation. Yeah, I agree with that. If it, Even if it was tougher, as long as I knew the real rules and there was no getting fucked one way or the other. Right. If you told me that instead of a red dye, if you piss in the pool and the lifeguard would find out, he would pull down your pants and make everyone laugh at the size of your child penis. <laughs> then I would not only respect the rule, mm-hmm. but if I was caught, I would say this is a just system. I knew what the terms were and it turned out to be true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There was but- a crime and there was a punishment crime and this punishment but there's honesty at the core mm-hmm. of, of the thing and your little kid dick would probably be wrinkled too because you're in yeah. the pool justice without truth is not virtuous so true yeah so effing true mm-hmm. can there even be justice without truth my friend a question for the ages i guess probably i could think of an example like when you shit and you realize you're out of toilet paper and then you mm. get toilet paper and then you wipe and it was one of those like turds that didn't need to be wiped. Wow. <laughs> now that that is a great yep. Wait, you're saying that's justice without truth? I don't yeah. think that qualifies as justice without truth, but that is some kind of specific circumstance of something. It is justice without truth. What's the justice? Well, the justice is that uh you didn't have toilet paper and you wiped your ass and like you didn't need it. You didn't have the toilet paper and you didn't need it, which is a just reality. Mm-hmm. And the truth, the truth of the matter, there's no not way. having truth is that you didn't know you didn't need it. Right. Not having truth is that there's no way to prove it unless you did have the toilet paper. Interesting. Uh, you're, I guess truth and knowledge are the same. Yes. I was not equating them as the same thing, but you're right. I was just fishing for anything. Tr- maybe truth with knowledge instead of, yeah. Justice without knowledge. I was looking for maybe anything that might even <laughs> remotely seem like sentences. Uh, so I went to Lowe's yesterday. Oh, gotta go to Lowe's. Yeah. How was it? Loves to blow, man. Gotta go to Lowe's. Lowdells. Lowdells. I, I went to Lowe's twice. Black actually. Home Depot. Lowdells. <laughs> Home Depot is Black Lowe's. It's the other way around. Mm, really? It's true. Lowe's is nice. Lowe's is nice, dude. Wow. Lowe's is really nice. Have you been to the Lowe's in Red no. Hook? First of all, no. Home Depot is Eastern European Lowe's. Thank you very much. Home Depot is is chaos. Yeah. How about this? Heckinger's was the best. And I've never uh, been there. Yeah, you'll never go. You'll never Heckinger's know. Heckinger's was nice. You'll never know about Heckinger's. I went I have Ace. fond some I've of the last Lowe's. fond memories with my father at Heckinger's. Dude. As a kid, going to Heckinger's with my dad, I'm like, like my dad just no, like, no idea what anything in that store is, you know. And as a kid, you're like, one day I'm gonna be picking up this shit and it'll be yep. for it, you know. I'll know. Yeah. I used to love going to like Track Auto when I was a little kid and be like, wow, someday I'll have like a shitty Honda. <laughs> and I'll come there to buy things for my shitty Honda, and I'll. <laughs> I was, I thought that would be so cool. Yeah. Yeah, but then Heck- would have been bro business. I know, yeah. but now it's all advanced. Auto. I don't think I've ever been to Lowe's. I've only I'm a I'm a Home Depot guy. Adam, I it's... cut you off. I'm sorry. You were going to Lowe's for what? <laughs> for wow, uh... things are tough. Not only <laughs> yeah, let's just go to Adam. That didn't go anywhere. No bit there. Time to go to Adam. <laughs> uh, I went to Lowe's for an Ethernet cable. Nice. And uh, you're coming in it. crisp. You're coming in clear. Yeah. I bought it and uh, it didn't have the connector plugs on the end, so I had to go back to Lowe's. What it was just Ethernet the cable? Without, without the what? <laughs> so they just gave you like a long ass tube. I ordered it online and it said it's Ethernet $3. cable. Dollars. This one's got three dollars and it doesn't come with the clips, but you know you save some money. You just <laughs> put the pair of wires into his computer to save money on the clip. Electrocuting just, himself I every single time. Said, yeah. I, because I'm now recording back upstairs again, so I can have some privacy for the show. Uh-huh. And uh, yeah, and uh, they didn't have the connector, so I had to go back. And uh, it was a pleasure. It was a real pleasure leaving the house twice, going to Lowe's. I did a little people watching. 
Do you have to wear masks in Vegas? What the fuck is uh, people watching? People say that, and that's just like, oh, it's a great spot. Voyeurism. Watching, and it's like, does that mean that you think that you like you're not an idiot? I mean, that's the implication always. Is it mm-hmm. like what you go to hang out and watch other people be stupid? and banal in ways that you think that you're escaped from. I don't think no, there's it's any just you value just around judgment. people just soaking up uh, different different types of it's enjoying, people yeah. that are at lows. Mm-hmm. There was a... Um, I thought it was kind of like shitty and condescending, that expression. I think uh, it can be read that way. I think that yes. people that, are, that claim to be really into people watching are typically dickheads. Yeah. It can be vindictive, um, but it can also be like interesting. Watch, I'd like to watch them. That's yeah, cool. let's. Who watches the watchers? That's who the watches question. the people? Watch, who people watches I, well, the people watch? I would. These fucking these dickhead people watchers, and you know, some guy sitting on a bench, just get right up in his face. What are you looking at? See now you know how it feels. Now you to know. Be how watched. It feels. You fucking asshole. You fucking yeah. Creep. Just you you're a guy who's never who's never recovered from teenagers watching you shit your pants one time. Right. I did see <laughs> I did see uh girlfriend here having a nice spring day. <laughs> yeah, it's always about yeah, it's a it's a it's a big couples ex- I feel like that's uh, what thing. the zodiac killer was all about. Hmm. I'm like, what are you guys doing? Your people watching? And they're like, please leave us alone. And then you tie them up and stab them to death. Yeah. Yeah. Like, consider yourself watched. You're watched, bitch. Yeah. Welcome to the, welcome to Aquarius Rising, your house mm-hmm. is Saturn. It's funny <laughs> that they got this guy going around murdering people is just a dumb astrology bitch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's very funny. That is yeah. like a person. He's like, you know, dear Mister Police, if you ever want to see Caitlin reach her ninth birthday, you'll send two hundred dollars and eighteen healing crystals. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> when this stick of incense burns out, I chop one of her toes off. They're calling him the fortune cookie tarot card killer. <laughs> They're calling him the I Ching killer. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Um, at Lowe's, I did see a gentleman uh, who I, I believe was a Mexican gentleman wearing a T-shirt from a, a funeral, like a, the T-shirts that they make. The swag? Yeah, the swag, the funeral swag, which I guess had been donated somewhere. He was wearing a <laughs> funeral, t- <laughs> which I thought, you know, and that that's the kind of stuff you get from leaving the house, people being out watching. in the world, people oh, watching. Salvation Army, as you go into them, it used to be like half the rack was like the Jefferson Jackson 150th anniversary. Family reunion, yeah. Flags reunion. <laughs> yeah. Blowing, baby, you know, and it was just, yeah, just 500 of those shirts. I know. Or like a class trip, or it's like some asshole just donated them en masse. We should get some of that shit, man. I haven't been to a thrift store in a while. Damn. Will people be going to thrift stores after thrift this? Thrift stores are worthless in New York. Yeah. yeah. They are pretty picked through. You can go to Jersey, though, for some gold. Yeah. I mean, what are you going to do? Get into like ironic thrift store t shirts now again? Is- <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In my 30s. 2007 <laughs> style. Dude. By the time you turn 22, you're like, oh, I'm just a tool. Mm. Yeah. I this- love that shit, man. I don't, I don't begrudge my face of ironic, t- wacky shirts. I'm going Western wear after this is up. Right. Graphic tees is the way to go, friend. It's a good look. I respect that. Yeah. I got t shirts from La Philippe. I'm sucking John Wick's cock. Yeah. Your head is the wrong way. <laughs> it should be the back of your head. Shut up. Everybody it just doesn't that. make sense. Gay. They didn't really have an answer. But now I'm thinking, yeah, I'm gay. Yeah, I'm gay. Yeah, I'm gay. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm gay. I'm thinking I'm gay. <laughs> Dude, that movie rocks. I rewatched that one recently, too. Yeah, I could rewatch John Wick. That's a cl- stone cold classic. I'm gonna have to watch two again. My boyfriend gave me that dog. My boyfriend used to put that dog in my ass. That poppy lived in my ass <laughs> for years. <laughs> mm. uh, Adam, what's your background about? Why is he? Why is Bob Dylan with a yarmulke? He's uh, pr- he's he's uh, praying at the. At the Western Wall, I believe, mm. in occupied Palestine. 
Damn, I wish I could go to Bob's Big Boy or Bob Evans or. <laughs> Damn. What's the? I'm. You're gonna have to One leave. Diner, the, dude. It must have been the Northwest. Awesome to be like to leave some Eastern Bloc country in the 1980s. You spent your entire life there, and then you like moved to America in like 1993, and you get to go to like Wendy's for the first time. Oh yeah, dude. Can you imagine that? I probably rocked. My family would have gone to Wendy's. And it is filled with joy in my heart <laughs> to have square capitalist hamburger. <laughs> Dan, do they even have burgers in Russia? Uh, no, they don't got shit. That's dude. another question for. Um, you got to eat a radiated wall for Snowden. <laughs> for Snowden. Y'all got yeah. hamburgers over there? Yo, Ed, y'all got hamburgers? <laughs> Y'all got them square Wendy's hamburgers. They got different menu items at the McDonald's. Yeah, they got a McDonald's over there. Y'all got borscht at your McDonald's. Yeah. What's the pussy situation like? It's because you know, because they're mailing them all out elsewhere. I'm thinking yep. what's left over. It's got to be like a thrift store here in New York. Mm-hmm. It's true. It's picked all through. All the good ironic pussies taken. You're only left with the sincere stuff. Yep. Why sturdy Russian wives? Yeah. Oh fuck! I smell like shit. Did you guys feel like your body odor is worse in the quarantine? Um, no. I've been mm. fine. I mean, kind of, I guess, but not really. I've I've also been showering more because I'm like exercising. So I'll shower in the morning and I'll work out and I'll shower again afterwards. I see. Ooh, you do a little sandwich little shower shower sandwich that's the other thing i take a million showers now i wasn't for a while i stopped bathing for the first like couple of weeks and then uh there's nothing to do so it's like okay well i guess i'll take a shower right i mean i don't know maybe you get a punching bag i really have no idea punching bag's a good idea i have no i have no fucking idea and this is going to go on for another i mean it's like it's going to be interesting to see what happens in new york after may 1st when people can't pay their rent yeah you know they're tired of it like nobody wants to clap anymore that's the thing it's like that's that's we need these are the kind of models i need and statistics and somebody should do a clapping at 8 p.m index and see how long <laughs> it goes out yeah the, the the first night in new york where there's only a single person clapping the next night is the one when the fires start yeah yeah no one has clapped here once in astoria yeah i mean i can hear williamsburg from here I don't think my neighborhood's clapping. It's like, is my my neighborhood is like mostly older black people still. Yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. They, uh, yeah, uh, maybe Adam. Adam was right to flee, dude. Yeah, Adam was had the right move to flee New York to abandon New York. We He's have not now, a flee. Adam, now that- Adam's natural fear instinct when confronted with anything. I was not. It was not a cowardly move. <laughs> I would. I would own up to it. it if it was, but it was. I'm just saying you were right to do it, and I think now it's after May, we've proved the real New Yorkers have proven who they are, and they are now flee- free to flee, without any judgment attached, mm. and maybe it's time to get a fucking cabin, get a property, yeah, walk the grounds. Uh, yeah. I just want to. I want to touch grass, bro. Well, you, you know exactly what will happen is you'll buy a house somewhere, right, and mm. leave, and then that's when. Like all podcasts, just immediately whoop go bottom up. Yeah, <laughs> and you can't get a job at all, and now you have a fucking thirty year mortgage on a property. <laughs> like, oh well, uh, now I'm also out of work, and I can't. Pay. Yeah, it just puts you in this like fucking holding. But like, what the fuck? What the fuck is gonna happen, dude? This shit sucks. I know. It's not funny. <laughs> it's I know. Funny. It's fine. Yeah. You've I've found something that isn't funny. <laughs> Nick, me. when when I come back. <laughs> If it's still quarantine, I'll hang out with you. I don't care, dude. Um, you're not coming back, dude. I, I'm coming back. You know when I'm coming back, but I'm coming back eventually. But uh, yeah, I'll hang out with you. I don't care. I'll hang out with Saab. Well, we go go to that taco place, pick up those no, tacos, and check. We're not Heights. doing that, Adam. Why? Look, you're never coming back. Me and Saab live here, and we don't hang out. I've not seen Saab in months. Yeah, but you and I are neighbors. We're I'm not the leaving the. I'm not leaving this Astoria, bro. He doesn't leave Astoria. He doesn't leave his apartment. I don't leave my apartment. There's really not a reason Nick, to hang you go, out. you should go for a drive. Maybe that'll make you feel better. I can't go for a drive. There's nowhere to go driving. Go down to the Coney Island. Check it out. All desolate. Drive back. Not Maybe bad. I'll go for it. That's not a bad drive. Not a bad go idea. for a drive. My car's been up on um 
on like blocks for like three weeks. I'm going to go to the strip, I think, and see it all black. It's been the alternate side street parking. So I've been doing all like the work that I put off that would require like not moving the car. Mm -hmm. How's it going? How's the work on the car going? It's nice nice to have a project. But again, it's like all the things that I have to distract myself with. It's like I, I don't know how to like turn that into... Like there's not, I'm not, I'm, I'm so fucking understimulated that I can't produce anything. I can't fucking like do anything. I've been make. I've like sit around make like, like, like instructions for myself on like how to do things, you know, yeah. format them in page. I've gotten into like document processing. I mean, it's <laughs> like, I don't know what to fucking do. I know brother. Yeah. It's basically, dude. Yeah. Well, my offer to hang out with you when I get back is no on the table. No. All right. Ian said he's going to ride his bike and then we're going to talk from my balcony while he's downstairs. That yeah. sounds nice. I like that. It's like, I mean, it's you kind of watch everybody creatively kind of flailing right now. And the only emotion you're really capable of having is like disgust. And then you witness it's true. Yourself, and you're like, fuck. It's like what do you, like what do you do? I mean, all we can do is just sort of like, "Hey, look at me," you know. And people do, and you're like, so, "Whoops, sorry." <laughs> yeah. Yep, I got nothing. I don't have the answer either. Sorry. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. People's uh, I've seen a lot of cringe content. <laughs> oh yeah, recently. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna comedy, name any names. But. Comedy already was shit. It's gotten it's gotten pretty bad. It was already like incredibly superfluous. All of this content that nobody really wanted, but there was enough money in the industry that you know they would keep making it. Somebody would right. fucking throw them in, like, yeah, let's do like, let's do like Viacom's doing like a web series. I mean, like that's what like Queeby is. It's funny that Queeby hit right when this happened because that's the pinnacle of like old media waste throwing right. money at a fucking idea that's dog shit. Just setting money on fire. This like you know, did you how much money they fucking raised? Billions, yeah, it's like one point something billion. Billions of dollars <laughs> <laughs> for a proprietary subscription phone only service where there's no <laughs> any of the content on social media. I mean, yeah. it's it's unreal. Just how much and like you know, there's a lot of people that got into the like the entertainment industry banking on the idea that like. You know, because it was like funny. It was like ten years ago. They're like, com- like comedy has a mediocre white guy problem, and it's like, yeah, you're right. And the answer is like, we should get rid of the mediocre white guys. It's not that we should have a bunch of mediocre right. everything. <laughs> mediocre of every stripe. <laughs> it's not an introduction of a bunch of mediocre bullshit from everybody else. <laughs> Just fire the mediocre white guys. Leave the fifteen of them that are fucking talented. And then maybe find like, you know, a black woman that's loud in a funny way. <laughs> you know, maybe put maybe throw Leslie Jones there. Maybe we do <laughs> and there's only one of there's one of them. You mm-hmm. pick one. The best one of the lady best, mm-hmm. You that's get one lady Ghostbuster. Yeah, you go Egon, uh uh what's Leslie Jones, and then I guess maybe you get a maybe a Chinese Ghostbuster in there. I like that. Chinese yeah. Bill Murray. Ken Ken Jong. It's yeah, Jen, no, not Ken Jong. Ken Jong. His from, dick is so small. It's so his fun. dick is small. That's funny, but it's so he's funny not how that small funny. his dick is. The he's, Eleven. What's that? In the oceans Jet Li in the Ocean's Eleven. Yep. Man. That's the other ghost boss. That's Chinese ghost boss. That's not Jet Li. I used Jet to think Lee? it was Jet That's Lee, not Jet Li. Not. Yeah, it's just a small guy. Isn't he, isn't he in one of them? I thought it was Jet Li no, too, he's bro. He's in the he's in the Expendables. That's he's it. not in the Ocean's Eleven. That's not even close to the same movie, dude. And he's doing way too much guns, not enough chops. I'll say that. They're both ensemble casts. With the I guess. All right, fine. They're ensemble casts, but one is much more of an action movie. The other one's a caper. Mm-hmm. Not exactly a caper, but a, a, some a heist. Mm-hmm. A heist movie. What did you guys say? Are the kind of movies I should watch? The Long Goodbye. Yeah, all those like seventies like gritty cl- crime movies. About to write it down. Yeah, we should all. We should, you know, we should, how we should have this conversation is uh, we should do the podcast from now on. Is one of us will say something and then the other person will go, "Hold on a second, let me write that down." 
and then have, we just have minutes of silence while we just take down notes here. I've been taking notes this whole episode. Hang on a second. You said it was Bill Pullman. <laughs> and he's a different guy. And so that's hold on real quick. P U L L. And now I'm sorry, just to follow up to um, back to mm-hmm. what you were saying earlier, there is a Bill Paxton. Yeah. To be clear. <laughs> And that is P A X T O N. Correct. You got that right. Very good. What are the other movies, though? For real, Long Goodbye. What else? Oh yes. Well, let's, let's write these down. Um, yeah. Long Goodbye, and I'm assuming that's the classic spelling of Long L O N G. What's the yes. other option? Um, L O N G E. L A W Long. Long. That's the original name of Long Island was uh uh, L O N G E I N. Long. Lounge, lounge Isle. I have a very lounge pen ass. Mm. My balls are lounge. Long balls. The long goodbye. We'll go ahead and put that down here. You're listening to the Taking Notes podcast. This is episode 783. And, you know, note taking is, I wouldn't say an art form, but it's certainly uh, nothing to thumb your nose at. Oh, yeah. And a lot of people, they don't know the right way to go about it. Uh, they think somebody says something, you just jot it down. That's incorrect. Um, well, I mean, what not are the other te- aspects, not technically. I mean, technically speaking, it is correct. That's <laughs> that is both the essence and uh, entirety of what note taking is. Right. But uh-huh. if you were to, uh, I wouldn't say necessarily belabor it, but. Uh, add some flourish. There's things you can do. Like, for example, I, I use capital letters. Mm. and I, I never have to uh, dot my I's. But isn't that, isn't that more work overall? No. In fact, over the course of years, I've saved probably $22 in pens. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting, man. I think I've, I've considered... Are the capital letters smaller? Yeah. Uh, like yeah, you use small capitals? Who's sneezing? Who's my, sneezing? My let's, let's investigate that. Oh, what they, what's going on with that? You want me to go check? Yeah. yeah. All right, one sec. Be right back. Hold on. No, let's, just at. We'll sit here in silence. Or... All right. Adam, you were saying earlier, I, I'm, I want to make All sure right, I, I get this down. You, you all right, bro? Low. Yeah, all right. All right. You went to Lowe's, you said? I went to Lowe's twice yesterday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's L O W. It's all right. Lowe's. Yeah. He's doing Lowe's. fine. I just took down some notes here. Adam apparently went to the store Lowe's. Yeah. Yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what happened? Did you ever get the correct cord? Then I went back, got the correct cord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. this is, you know, just to add a little extra informa- information. Got that down here. You got that. I um, ordered the correct cord with the connectors on the end. And then I got there the second time to the because they have a p- online pickup thing right i ordered it to the wrong lows mm. so then i had to get refunded for that one then go into the aisle pick it oh, out myself man. yeah no nah, i'm looking at the order now this one went to the uh the lows for straight guys so yep you don't they have said it's a straight lows yeah this is actually <laughs> <laughs> the guy behind the counter trying to rip on you and it's like yeah sorry that went to the straight lows this is uh it's only for gay guys. And you're like, so you're gay? And he's like, what? No. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no. Fuck no. you. The guys that work here, they're, it's the other, they're the other thing. Customers that are gay. <laughs> I want a shirt. I'm going to shirt that says the customer is always gay. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And it's a, it's a businessman bending over, exposing his asshole. But he's the, would he be the customer of the businessman? Businessman is he's selling his ass and he's straight. Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> there's only one rule. There's only one rule. They call him the whole rule. I love that. Customer is <laughs> gay. Customer is always gay, but I'm sure the guy getting fucked in his ass in a suit. Mm-hmm. I'm straight. Yeah, I'm straight. I'm I'm a businessman. I'm doing a job. Mm-hmm. Sex work is work, after all. 
Yeah, like Mad Men. It's like a sex work office where it's just a bunch of business guys get like <laughs> out and getting fucked in their ass all day wearing. <laughs> And then coming back to the office and being like, Meg, your tits look better every time I see them. <laughs> this is a calm dripping out of their pocket. After the CEO of Polaroid just fucked him in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> I got a three o'clock over at the Pan Am building. <laughs> be blowing out my holes for about 15 minutes. I was thinking, Meg, maybe me and you could go get some Tom Collins after this. <laughs> down in the West Village. What do you say? I have a fiance. I'll have him killed. <laughs> Either we have sex or I'll have him killed. You don't have, you have no idea. Gay sex I've been having in 1960s corporate America to keep my job. <laughs> Not falls on you to make me feel straight. They've got a big Japanese client coming over and they're stressing out that they're having gay sex in the correct cultural way. Right, the Japanese clients come in. They got to figure out who has to lay down on the table. <laughs> Just cover yourself in sushi. Yeah. I'm being bukkake. Oh, okay. That's another thing they do. Uh, who goes out for uh, eating a sushi off of a sexy lady and is like, "This is cool." I think mean? it would be cool. That that doesn't really really. Yeah, I would feel bad for her. I'd want to talk to her. Be like, hey, are you enjoying this? This is yeah, your job. Because you're you're like a predator. Mm-hmm. What do you mean I'm like a predator? Yeah, I think you it's a predator kind of move to pay to eat. No, no it's not. It's off a woman. Business. It's a, it's not it's business. A, it's business. You'd have to escape yourself from the transaction while still trying to get the ultimate result, which is no. First of all, I wouldn't do it because it's kind of lame. It's not no, cool. Kind of- sexual interaction with this woman you want to you want to establish an emotional relationship with her and right. be like i'm not like the other guys right and then you get yes. the yes i'd want to whereas i'm happy to pay I'm her i'm guy. happy to pay her for her talents right we're being I'm happy this is back to the pool you're you know what you are is you're a pool liar you're a guy who would lie about the fucking the die in the pool. That's not true. I'm a pool pisser. I've been a pool pisser my whole life. I knew it was a lie. Oh, I was I one of the first pool, kids to know it was a lie. You're a pool pisser. Oh, 100 percent You were in charge. Every time. You would have what? been one of the people propagating the lie. You'd be sitting there pissing in the pool and being like, you know, there's a red dye that's in Yes, the that's true. Because I'm the puppeteer. I'm the puller of the strings. Dios. Yeah. Do not, do not lie to me. <laughs> You're actually not the puppeteer. I just checked. Not the puppeteer. I'm the puppeteer. Nope. I'm the puppet master. Mm-mm. I'm Geppetto. You are Geppetto in that you would you would make a boy to what, fuck. What the fuck happens in Pinocchio? So P- P- Geppetto like loves Pinocchio and then he turns him into a real boy and then Geppetto's just out of the picture. He's not in the rest of the movie. Wasn't there something with a whale? I think Pinocchio does something fucked up and Geppetto's like, fuck you, you fucking bitch. He lies. Yes. So he's like, go get fucked. Go get fucked by that donkey boy and then go get fucked by a whale. You you watch a lot of baby movies, Stop, don't you? You've rewatched Dumbo recently. I have not rewatched Dumbo. I just figured I just saw on the line that it was shorter than I thought. You rewatched Moana, though. You told us that. I that was a year plus ago. You and rewatched it's rewatch. L- Lilo and Stitch. It's not Moana is not a rewatch. It's a watch. I watched you it for the first time. Thank you. You very watched much. Moana a couple years ago. A year was and a half it good? Ago, maybe it was pretty good. I actually saw a pretty cute video of The Rock's daughter singing to the Moana song and she has no idea her dad is is the guy he That's didn't even cute. tell his own kids she's a baby you he's that big a, of a liar the rock and jason momoa to just switch and see if their children know <laughs> they look kind of different one has long hair yeah that's true that's kind of the whole in your plan <laughs> Let's see what, the- what else is going on. They got this Michael Jordan documentary. It's pretty good. Like a, a Civil War plantation owner coming back to his plantation after being at the Civil War for years. Uh huh. Dumbo's money. only sixty-four minutes, by the way. I like that. Too short. In and out. Not no. too short. Short. You know the out. same lot is only twenty minutes long. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. I did not know that. Look at this. What is that? Shit? A piece of shit? It's paint. It's dried mm-hmm. paint. You got a piece of shit that you're sticking on your head? I didn't stick a piece of shit on my 
Yeah. Do not say that. People, hey, everyone can see uh, that. Dude. Call it quits on the dots, okay? <laughs> that was getting me for weeks. <laughs> Bill, Maher. Bill you know, is- maybe we've had enough of the dots. <laughs> That water bottle looks like a big, like the innards of a flashlight. It looks says very that. fleshy. Yeah. It's a half gallon. I got to stay hydrated. I drink two. It looks of very days. biological. Nothing wrong with that. You drink two of them a day? I try to. Your skin looks nice. I think it's Thank from you. drinking all that water. Thank you. Why are you shaking your head? Nick? It doesn't look I, nice to you. I'm just so disappointed with my inability to have any kind of thought listen right. you should we'll do cocaine it man i know i really should just start doing cocaine I got, is cocaine I got, still delivering i have no idea new york probably I, I have no idea but i don't i don't know how to you know maybe a different drug that's that's designed to make your brain work like what i don't know some a doctor would prescribe no, because it's not. What do you go? I go to a doctor and say, "Hey, I'm in quarantine and I'm having uh, trouble like harnessing my natural erratic thought patterns, and I need to maximize them in a certain way." Mm-hmm. Crack. <laughs> I, I, I need help making my thinking more disordered <laughs> so that I can do my fake job. Yeah. No, I was just saying you should take your regular pills again. They don't help. I'm just just a thought, man. Yeah, well, you want you take your thoughts and bring them right to the Chinese buffet. Meet me there. I would love that's to go there. I, that's the answer is I need a fucking, I need a day out at Chinese fucking buffet. <laughs> I need to be able to live my goddamn life. I, I, I agree. It's not even like, you know, like there's all these, these protesters think they're protesting for freedom or whatever. It's like, it's not even like a fucking, these are like basic human needs and it's not even a matter of protest. It's like eventually you're just going to like bash your head against a fucking wall. Yeah. I can't, I can't, like, I don't, I don't know what to fucking do. Yeah. You got to leave New York, go to the middle of the country. I guess I, you know, I don't know. I mean, yeah, maybe I'll just put the Texas back on my car. Maybe I'll try a drive, but this shit is fucking driving me. God a drive is nice. I'll say a couple of my friends, Rose. a couple of my friends have fleed. And although it is irresponsible, their lives sound so much better. Where yeah. have they gone? A couple, like one of them went to Ohio. There's like there's like ten cases there. Everyone just fucking goes to the grocery store with masks on. No one really gives like a fuck. Locked down though. Ohio was the first place to lock down. They have all these yeah. like measures. So they so they just did it right, is what you're saying. Um, if you think that that's right, I mean, because it does. It seems pretty chill over there. Is what I'm saying. What do you compared mean? to here? It's the same. I mean, I, again, I haven't paid attention, but like they were, they were. Also locked down. I think the, the video surface of a house party in Chicago, with like a thousand people at it. That what? Really fun. Yeah. Why, dude? Damn, we're gonna be in it here forever. Pretty lit. Did it? Yeah. We're gonna be in this motherfucker forever. I want some fucking top. I want top. Baby want pussy. Uh, what time is it? Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's four thirty or one thirty your time, I guess. Yeah. Damn, I should st- I should get into making fireworks in my apartment. I think that's the answer. Why not? Uh huh. Put in a big fertilizer order, Nick. Mm, just uh, practicing Chinese, learning how to make fireworks. <laughs> yeah. God damn! It's so funny that we would have already been been and come back from Australia by now. Yeah, and that'll Sucks. never happen again. There won't be an Australia. Australia is going going feral. Yeah, kangaroos on surfboards are overrunning everything. Are they yeah. fucked over there? I don't know. I don't know. That's the thing. It's like I can't pay attention to this shit because the only thing I can do is like get upset. I mean, it's like ah. mm-hmm. I'm with you, mate. Everything fucking sucks. This fucking sucks. It just sucks. Yeah, it's there's no I'm not I can't even be like, oh come on. It sucks dick. I hate it. You're I want to kill fucking, myself. It's fucking awful. It's just fucking awful. And it's like, you know, everybody already wanted to kill themselves. You know, it's like it the feeling the feeling, the overwhelming feeling is like 
it's too late. You missed your chance to kill yourself. Right. That right. would have been you the time. If you kill yourself now, there's no, no one's going to be sad. You I think are... someone, someone pointed out that Prince died right before Trump got elected in 2016. Would have mm. been an awesome time to get fucked. Just kill yourself on dr- with drugs, dude. We even yeah. know how fucking gay the world gets. Yeah. That would have I rocked. Mean, also, you kill yourself now. It's like fucking those those EMTs are probably busy. Yeah, you yeah. Know? They got to come scoop your brain off like your PlayStation or. It's whatever. rude. It's rude to kill. It's yourself rude. Now. It is rude. Kill yourself right now. That's the only reason you can't do it. You could have done it. You could have done it weeks ago. <laughs> now you're already, now you're just like well early March baby that was the end that was the last time you could have yeah let me see if quarantine ends and then yeah you know fuck. Fuck, dude. Life is gay. Life is gay. Get any Easter candy to eat? Didn't get any Easter candy. Oh, that's a shame. Fuck. I just remembered that, dude. It's a shame. Fuck. I didn't get any fucking tsureki, the Greek Easter bread. You know how good it is to eat fucking chocolate with tsureki? It's so good. I have no idea. I've never had it. I don't know what that is. Fuck. Yeah. Do you know what the funniest part too is about like doing because everybody's doing it. Everybody in the world is like, after this, it's like it's, it's like the whole kind of like premise of all that Glenn Beck like nine twelve movement bullshit is that like oh you're supposed to have some appreciation for things when this ends, you know? None. None. It'll take thirty five seconds. The uh, media will be. You know what is funny because it's like it started and my dad's like FaceTiming with me and shit, which we've never done, and it took like we FaceTimed one time. <laughs> And now he's back to just blowing off my text messages for <laughs> weeks on end. Does not respond to me. Won't pick up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's like, well, I missed you. It'd be nice if, you know, like we could see you. But, you know, obviously that's not like an option or whatever. Now it's just fucking radio silence. Yeah. yeah. He's in the lab, dude. Yeah. He's in the lab taking advantage he's of his in- time. No, he's not. He's not. I know. He's just fucking... He's doing the same thing everyone else is doing is nothing. And I keep seeing that shit on Instagram as people being like, use this time to work on yourself. I hate that. Like, yeah. You're not doing that. You just made that stupid fucking picture and then you're going back to eating oranges or whatever you're doing. Yeah. No, nah, like- that's the other thing. The, the, the thing to be productive when everything you worried that the world might disappear, mm-hmm. is, it sucks. It's hard to do anything. It's also, you were probably already productive. You're just not talented. <laughs> it's like, for the most people I know, their their hang up isn't that they're not productive. They're very right. just they produce nothing but dog shit. <laughs> it's that the majority <laughs> mm-hmm. fucking sucks. You're absolutely right. Yeah. If the time is actually worse. It becomes yeah. it allows you to realize that you've got the time and you are dog shit. There's probably yeah. some people actually putting in the work right now that are like, oh, I yeah. suck dick. You're fucking terrible. The only the real work to be done is coming to terms with that fact. Yeah. Maybe like a life dedicated to yourself was not the fucking answer. And now that you're locked alone and isolated, you have to find like some kind of meaning in mindfulness or something small or immediate or like fucking doing mm. the, or like some other sustainable aspect other than just like pointing at yourself all fucking day long. Mm-hmm. And uh I don't know what it is. You know, costume changes. I mean, I'm enjoying that. <laughs> to be honest. I mean, I, I think I might, if I, you know, maybe I should just buy a couple more costumes. Yeah. You need a crown to go over that. A crown would be cool. I was thinking, you know, maybe get, maybe get into cosplay, you know, and that's the thing. It's like right back to like, <laughs> your just brain just goes, well, no, I guess I'll just continue to distract myself. Yeah. I'll think about anything else, waste more money. I'm on team distract yourself. Yeah. Get through it one way or the other. And it goes on for so long that it's like, you know, it's like people are like, oh, well, the world will get so bad that won't it? Like people have this idea that it'll inspire people to action or whatever. There'll be some kind of res- revolution or something. But you become so worn out and drained and, and tired like, and numb that really there's nothing, yeah. you, there's nothing to even rebel again. I mean, it's just like you don't care. I mean, you just shut off. Like, what would be the motivation to do anything? 
I don't know, not dying, or I guess for some people, getting pussy. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> who cares? <laughs> yeah, literally, who cares? That's the right answer. Yeah, it sucks, dude. I'm yeah, I'm not. I'm not talking about what's going on here, but it's it's not an ideal situation. Yeah, going to Lowe's, coming going back. Going to Lowe's. Yeah. There's like a lot of difficult things happening. Going <laughs> to the straight guy Lowe's. Yeah. You should have gone to the gay guy Lowe's. Yep. Yeah. That was pretty funny. No, it wasn't. It was nothing was funny. <laughs> yeah, it's a good note. It's nothing was funny and it's over now, everyone. <laughs> so thank you. We'll get guests. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna have Doctor Edward Snowden on the show. Yeah, honestly, we'll if you know what Edward Snowden been up to, if you know Edward Snowden for real, ask him if he wants to do the show. Yeah, I don't know. No, we really should start having guests. We'll yeah. start doing that. Yeah, I mean, because you know, to be honest with you, I had I did like Kurt's podcast, and that was like our. It's like when there's other people that are new. Today? No, I mean like last week. I've been doing. I mean, I, like me and Tim and Lewis now are doing. Um, that bastard radio show regularly. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> that was like, but you know, it's only a matter of time before you get comfortable doing that. I mean, not being in person is fucking like it sucks. Again, yeah. If it's a different show and there's like a different group of people, there's some like you know because it's like a new conversation or whatever. There's some kind of like novelty to it and having to figure out. Kurt's show was a lot of fun. Doing Matt and Shane was a lot of fun, but it's like you know, it's like you you need something. You know, yeah, we should yeah. get you should get guests to, to mix it up. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll see if Tim wants to do it or yeah, but, that'd be good. Yeah. Let's get Tim in the mix. Yeah, um man. all right, folks. Well, I got a fucking curry. I'm trying to check up on, see how that bad boy's doing. Oh, nice, dude. Indian or Thai? Uh sort of it's it's kind of more Indian, I guess. Oh, so I get I have to end the uh I have to end. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Stabby Baby. Every Friday at six o'clock, I do a call in show. You can leave, I forget the number, 903 883 Stav, I think. And you can call a vo- leave a voicemail and I will uh, answer it on the air. That sounds great. It's pretty fun. Adam, do you have anything? Uh... Nope. Nothing. No. <laughs> okay. Well. Yeah, Bye, everyone. Bastard Radio, if you want to check that out. They got Bastard Radio. It's kind of like this, but instead of Adam and Stav, it's two other guys I have nothing to say to. <laughs> <laughs> After All right, that's pretty good. All right. Goodbye, everybody.